heart, or even an open door. After he pushed me out, I had to climb in through the window. But yeah, I'm back. Well, I'm glad. You're kidding. No. With you and the kid around, I won't have to hose down the washing machine so often. I'll get that. I guess there's no trusting this butter now. Or the loose bananas. Hello, Alan. Judith? Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. So is somebody going to explain to me what the heck is going on? I thought he should hear it from you. Okay. Jake, listen, I know you liked Candy very much, but she and I have decided that we really can't stay married. Oh, man. It doesn't mean that you can't be friends with her. No, I had December. <laughs> Alan, I just want to say I'm very sorry things didn't work out for you and Candy. Thanks. <laughs> you won the pool, didn't you? Yeah. And just FYI, I spoke to my lawyer, and he said that even if Candy takes you for everything you've got, you still have to pay me alimony. Here's his bill. Six hundred dollars? He explained it very slowly. <laughs> you didn't call. What? When Dad moved out, you said you and me could still get together and do stuff, but you never called. Ah, oh, jeez, Jake, I'm sorry. I waited. I'll make it up to you. When? Later. I'm still here. What do you want me to do, Jake? I don't know. You really let me down, and it hurt my feelings. I know. I feel awful. Fifty bucks and it goes away. Ten. Done. Love you, Uncle Charlie. Yeah, I can't catch you.